Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little pants with footies. Um, it's part of this baby set that you see here. It includes the little bonnet, the matching little sweater, and the pants now. In another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the little bonnet, so stay tuned for that. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link for the little sweater. Okay, so I hope you like it, and without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Baby Soft. This is a light number three yarn in this color lemonade. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you a link to where you can purchase this yarn. Okay, so to begin, I have 12 chains into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. I'm going to make a double crochet like this double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and so on. You're just going to continue for this first row, just making double crochets until you come here to the last chain. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine double crochets, so here into this next chain, which is the last one, we're going to make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. So here I'm just going to pull this yarn so that this stitch here closes. And now here we're going to work these nine double crochets on this side. So we're going to do the same thing we did here. Okay, so beginning into this next stitch right there, we're going to make our first double crochet and then a double crochet into the next stitch and so on. You're going to continue like this until you have nine double crochets. I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine double crochets, so now what I'm going to do into this first chain here, remember here we left two chains, so into the first chain right there, I'm going to insert my hook in here. I'm going to make seven double crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row with a total of 32 double crochets. We have nine on this side, nine on this side, plus seven, plus seven, that's 32 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two, and into this same stitch here, make one double crochet. One double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. Here we're going to work these nine double crochets, so continue like this and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine double crochets, so now into each one of these seven double crochets here we're going to make two double crochets. So beginning into this next one we're going to make two double crochets, that's one, two, into the next, three and four into the next five and six into the next seven and eight into the next nine and ten into the next eleven and 12 into the next 
13 and 14. Okay, so we made 14 double crochets here. Now, we're going to work these next nine double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine double crochets here along this other side. So now we have seven um, double crochets here left. So on top of each one of these double crochets, we're going to make two double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now to finish the second row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for this row we have nine double crochets plus nine double crochets plus 14 plus 14 that's 46 double crochets for this second row okay i decided to only make two rows so we finished with the second row and a total of 46 double crochets here i joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop so now here what we're going to do is we're going to determine the center so that we have the same number of stitches along this side and on this side. So we have 23 stitches on this side and 23 stitches here on this side. So beginning here on this side, I'm going to insert my hook here right into that stitch. Then I'm going to grab this loop with the same color and chain two. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now here into the same stitch here, make a double crochet into the next stitch make a double crochet and so on here this is all we're going to do we're just going to work double crochets on each one of these double crochets from the previous row all around so continue like this and i'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these 46 double crochets all around and i'm here at the end to finish just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. Here, I'm going to do a stitch reduction at the beginning and at the end. So into the next stitch, um, yarn over first, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now from here on, just continue working these double crochets all around. So I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to reduce this last stitch. I'm here at the end of this second row. I still have three stitches here left. So we're going to reduce into the next two. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next, take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close. Now to finish, go on top of the last double crochet and make your last double crochet. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the second row with a total of 44 stitches. Now here, we're going to work 14 stitches. Then I put a stitch marker between this stitch marker and the next, this is the front. I have 16 stitches. And then again here on this side, I have 14 stitches. So we're going to work these 14 stitches. So to do that into this third row, you're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet then double crochet into the next and so on. Continue and I'll meet you here once we have these 14 stitches to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 14 double crochets. Now into these next 16 stitches, we're going to work stitch reduction. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close. Here's our first stitch reduction again, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops, close. Here's our second stitch, and this is how I'm going to continue until I have eight stitches. So again, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops, close. That's three. Four. 
four. Six, seven, eight stitch reductions. Now here we're going to continue along and just work these 14 double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished this third row by joining here to the beginning with a slip stitch. Now in this third row we have a total of 36 double crochets. We have 14 plus 14 plus 8. Now for the fourth row we're going to make 12, then 12, and then reduce here in the front. So to do that here we're going to chain 2 and into the same stitch here. I'm I'm going to make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, and so on. Continue until you have 12 stitches, and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets. Now into these next 12 stitches, we're going to work stitch reduction. So yarn over, on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, on top of the next, take two loops off, three loops, close. Again, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here I'm going to finish with six stitches. I have two. Into the next, do the same thing. That's three. Four. Five. and six. Now here we're just going to continue and finish these last 12 double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row and I have a total of 30 stitches all around. Now to finish go on top of the first stitch here and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here I'm going to make a double crochet, double crochet into the next stitch and so on. In this fifth row, this is all we're going to do. We're not going to make any more reductions. We're just going to continue along making one double crochet on each one of the stitches from the previous row. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 30 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and here we're going to work front post and back post double crochet. So into this first double crochet, you're going to make a front post double crochet. The next one, back post double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet and so on. Continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet all around this row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making this sixth row and I have a total of 30 double crochets all around. Now, from here on, we're going to start counting rows. So for the first row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. Into the next stitch, make a double crochet. Into the next, a double crochet and so on. For this first row, this is all we're going to do. We're going to make double crochets on each one of these double crochets from the previous row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making this first row with a total of 30 double crochets. Here I added a stitch marker to mark the first row. Now for the second row we're going to chain two and on top of this same stitch here we're going to make a double crochet. In this row we're going to make an increase at the beginning and at the end. We're going to repeat these two rows. So here I did a double crochet and into this next stitch make two double crochets. So here's the increase at the beginning. And from here on, you're just going to continue and work double crochets until you come here to the end, right about here. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to finish um, this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Here, I still have these last two stitches. Into this next stitch, make your increase. So make two double crochets into the same stitch and into the last stitch make one double crochet. Now to finish go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. 
Now for the second row, I have a total of 32 stitches. Here you're going to repeat these two rows. So for the third row, you're going to make the row where we just make double crochets all around. So chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet, then double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the third row with a total of 32 double crochets. Now, from here on, remember, we're going to repeat the two rows that I just showed you. So into the fourth row, you're going to chain two, and this is the row where we're going to increase. So into the same stitch here, make your first double crochet, and into the next stitch, make your increase, so make two double crochets. Into the next, make a double crochet, and so on. Continue like this all around. When you come here to the end, into this second stitch right here, right before we finish, you're going to make your increase at the end where you make two double crochets, then finish with one double crochet here. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have a total of 34 double crochets. Remember that every other row is where we increase, so we're going to increase by two stitches. To finish this fourth row, you're just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat the row where we make the double crochets all around and then alternate between those two rows. I think I'm going to do about 12 rows, um, which is going to give me, if my calculations are correct, um, it's going to give me about 42 double crochets. So continue like this and repeat these two stitches. One thing I forgot to mention is that these two chains here at the beginning never count as a double crochet. They're just there to cover up um, at the gap that is left when you join to the top of the first stitch. Okay, so continue and repeat these two rows until you have 12 rows, and I'll meet you at the end of that row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 12th row, and I have a total of 42 double crochets. Now, as you can see, I have these baby pins that I already showed you how to make with little uh, footies here. Um, I still have to go a couple more rows. I'm thinking it's uh, probably going to be about seven more rows. So we're going to continue in the same way for seven more rows. So at the end of the 12th row, you should have 42 double crochets. At the end of the 13th row, same thing, 42 double crochets. At the end of the 14th row, 44 double crochets. At the end of the 15th, 44 double crochets. At the end of the 16th, 46 double crochets. At the end of the 17th, 46 double crochets. At the end of the 18th row, 48 double crochets. And at the end of the 19th row, 48 double crochets. So continue for seven more rows and I'll meet you at the end of the 19th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 18th row and I have a total of 48 double crochets all around. Um, I'm not going to do the 19th row because in the 19th row we're going to join both sides so we need to make the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do that next. I'm just going to give you the measurements right now as it is. From here, this is the first row up to the last row, row 18. It's measuring 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. Now, I'm going to do the other side, like I said, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the other leg, and this is what it looks like. So we have both legs now ready to be joined. So here, we did a total of 18 rows, and at the end of the 18th row, we have 48 double crochets. So here, what we're going to do is, oh, and it's measuring, let's see. It's measuring about 9.25 inches, which is about 23 and a half centimeters. Okay, so here, I determined the center. So the center will be 24, so right there. That's where I put the stitch marker. Same thing here. Now, this is going to be the right leg, and this is going to be the left leg. See, like this. So this here is the back, and this is the front. So half of 24 is 12, so I counted from this stitch marker to this, side here I counted 12 and then I did the opposite on the other side so from this stitch marker to this stitch marker here I counted 12 so I put a stitch marker there so now we're going to join both legs right here okay so that it looks like this we have the right foot and the left foot so now here what we're going to do is Using this yarn here, I'm going to join here first and then I'm going to go around. So we have the stitch marker here. This is the left leg. So count one, two, three into the third stitch right there. 
grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make one half double crochet. Now, I'm going to make a total of six half double crochets. I have one into the next, make one more half double crochet, that's two, into the next half double crochet, that's three, into the next half double crochet, that's four, into the next half double crochet, five, and into the next one half double crochet, so that's six. So see, we have six half double crochets. We have a stitch marker, so we have three on this side and three on this side. Now here, we're going to go to this side, so we have the center stitch marker right there, and we're going to count one, two, three into that third stitch right there. We're going to join with a half double crochet. Now here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make six half double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing, three on this side and three on this side. Here's the stitch marker. Now we're going to go here where we started and right on top of the first half double crochet, right there, insert your hook and join with a slip stitch. Now chain one, turn this like this, and now we're going to join here so that there's no gap here in between. And here you can do slip stitches or you can do single crochets. I think I'm going to do single crochets. So insert your hook into this side and the other side like this. Make a single crochet, single crochet. I'm making sure to grab both loops on each side like this and like this. Single crochet, single crochet, and then one last one, single crochet, right there. Okay, now I've cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done, and both legs are now joined, see? Right there. And it should be centered, so that's the important thing here, to make sure that it's centered. Now we're going to go here to the back. I'm going to insert my hook right here into the very center, right there. So I have a half double crochet on this side and a half double crochet on this side. So right in the very center. I, I'm going to grab this loop like this, bring it through the front, chain one, or actually chain two, one, two, two chains. Now into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. And then on this first half double crochet, this is the left side, make a double crochet. And then into the same stitch, we did this half double crochet, see right there, make a double crochet. And now here, all we're going to do is make double crochets all around this leg now. This is the left leg. So continue like this, making double crochets. And I will meet you here on this other end right here to show you how we're going to work this part right in the center. Okay, so far I have done 12 double crochets and here I wanted to show you something. I'm going to add an extra stitch right here. This is where we have the two chains. So this is a slip stitch. Um, so right on top, I'm going to add a double crochet here as well because if I don't, it's um, there's going to be a gap there and I don't want that. So I'm just going to add a double crochet there and then continue on on top of the next double crochet and all the way around until I come here to this other end. I just thought I'd come and show you that I'm going to add a double crochet there as well. Okay, I'm here at this other end. Up to here, I have 46 double crochets. Now here, we're going to make a double crochet right here. This is where we have that half double crochet, so into that same space, make a double crochet. That's 47. This is the half double crochet. Make one double crochet, that's 48. Right in the very center, make a double crochet 
that's 49, 46, 47, 48, 49. And then we have the next half double crochet. So that's 50. Let me count them again. So we had 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now into the same stitch here where we have this half double crochet, make a double crochet. So that's 51, 52, and so on. From here on, just continue all around this side, making double crochets, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row, and I have a total of 96 double crochets all around, not including the two chains here at the beginning. Here, like I did here in the very center, I added another stitch here as well. So for me, I have 43 double crochets for this side, and then 43 for this side, plus the five double crochets that we have here in the back and five double crochets in the front. So that's a total of 96 double crochets. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, and then right on top of the same stitch here, make your first double crochet and then continue all around just making double crochets. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 14 rows from here up to here. It's 14 rows and it's measuring. It measures, let's see, it's about 14 centimeters, which is about five and a half inches. Okay, so now here, what we're going to do is we're going to make the waistband. So we're going to chain two and, and then this first double crochet, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. The next back post double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet. This is all I'm going to do all around, just al alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post double crochets. Now, I'm going to insert my hook here to the side where I have the two chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows two, three, and four, we're going to work the same thing, but we're going to make half double crochet. So to begin, you're going to chain one and this first stitch here, you're going to work a front post half double crochet. The next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. This is all you're going to do for the next three rows. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the waistband. I did a total of five rows instead of four. If you did um, four rows, it's okay. Um, here, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hit my ends. And this part here is done. This is the back. This is what it looks like. Um, and this is the front. Here, I did a very long chain of about 100 chains, and then I just weaved it here in the very center um, around the waistband. And this part here is done. And here are the feet. I went ahead and did two little pom-poms. I just tie them here into one of the center stitches. And separately, I went ahead and also did um, these chains. This is about 50 chains, and I just weaved it around this part here, around the um, baby booties. And this is what it looks like. So my baby pants are done. I also have the matching um, little sweater that I did. This one here, I'll leave the link down here in the information box. Um, so there it is. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.